Students, good morning, students. Today's topic. It's on a political apathy. And uh, today's date is uh, 22nd of October, 2019. So we are going to take a look at political apathy today. Um, let's take a look at the, the woman. As you can see, vote for nobody. This one is just more or less like an introduction to the topic. Because political party has to do with when one is not uh, having interest in the political activities of the country. This feature says, vote for nobody. Nobody tells the truth. Voter apathy party. As you can see, this man, the interpretation we can give to this is that he is not having interest in the political activities of the country. Now, by the end of this lesson, these are the expected targets. We are going to define political party. Um, we take a look at the various forms of political party. Then the third behavior of that is we are trying to explain the reasons for political party. The fourth one, the effect of political party. And uh, we are going to take a look at the various ways of fighting political apathy. Now, the term political apathy simply refers to a feeling of being less concerned about political activities. That is, when citizens are having nonchalant attitude to the political activities of the country. Then people relate to the political system in various ways. Some individuals take the system for granted and are only concerned with adjusting their behavior to its demand. And some people, and some people want to improve or transform it. So the term political party is when one is not having interest in the political activities of the country. Still on the meaning of political party, it is the situation whereby an individual shows little or no interest 
in the political activities of the environment, in he or she finds him or herself. That is when you are not showing interest. Some people will say most of the politicians are not saying the truth. That is the reason why they are not going out to cast their foot. So if you have any body behaving like this, that means that person is uh, is not having interest, and we turn it to be called political apathy. As you can see, what is happening here, that means election is going on. Election is going on. And then um, people believe that their votes are not always counted. That is why they have a kind of doubtful mind about the election process of the country. And as a result of the majority of the people, rejected the election and they don't really have the feelings of participating in the election. Forms of political apathy. There are various forms of political apathy. Political apathy may take any of the following forms. It means if you come across people having this kind of a any one of these one, that means that person is not having interest in the election of the country or participating in an election. The first point there is the failure to register or vote during election. Some people during the registration process, they will just stay at home. They won't bother themselves to register, let alone going out for voting. So when one fail to register or to vote on the election is a form of political apathy. The second point there, refusal to protest against rigging of election. Rigging of election also discourages some people in participating in an election of the country. And when Reagan now takes place, for instance, instead of people to come out to protest against it, so when they see the majority of the people, they just accept it. And uh, most of the people will just find it difficult to contest or to go out to vote in the next election. So this one is another form of political apathy. Review start to join political parties is another form. As you can see, in Nigeria, we have many political parties. And when a citizen refuses to join any one of these political parties, saying, what are they doing? Even if I, if I go out or I don't go out to vote, so our votes are not nowhere to be found again. So such people can just decide not to join political parties. So, this one too is another form of a political apathy. Failure to make contributions to political parties. We also have some people, they will join political parties, but they will not contribute to the development of that political party. So when we have people having this kind of behavior, we see it as one of the form of a political apathy. Then refusal to initiate or join political discourse is another form of political apathy. All these points that we have just rightly mentioned are forms of political apathy. If you have any questions from what we have said so far, that is from the definition of political party and the forms of political party, you can chat me so I will answer you. Now let's continue. Then the last one there is lack of interest in contesting election. 
we have some righteous people that can lead us to the we have some righteous people in this country but because of not having interest in the political activities of the country so they won't they won't contest they will not even have the mind of contesting for any election Don't write notes. Don't write notes. So just listen to the explanation, you copy your notes later. You can see this one always happened during the election. Look at the look at the guys playing football on the major road and they are eligible to vote as you can see they are playing football instead of them to go and at least perform their constitutional right so this one is another form of political party they are playing football when they ought to have gone to cast their vote some of them have voters card and they are not making use of it Uh, the question read by Aisha was yes, it is your constitutional duty to participate in an election of the country. At least in one way or the other, you are contributing your own quota to the development of that country. Receives for political apathy. What are the likely reasons for political apathy? What are the reasons why people are not showing interest in the political affairs of their country? There are many reasons for this. There are many. There are many reasons for this. Yes, you can go ahead with your question. Reasons for political party, absence of relevant political information. Lack of access to relevant political information, especially in the rural areas, may lead to political apathy. When once they are not enlightened, so they won't know what they supposed to do during the election or what they ought not to do. Then a great deal of political information is transmitted by word of mouth, but the mass media, particularly the radio, has not played an important part in informing the general public on government activities. The influence of the mass media is limited to poor communication and wide spread of illiteracy. So most of the rural areas, they are not really getting the information on how to go about the election and to contest for an election. So as a result of this, most of them find it difficult to have that interest on the, on the, on politics. And uh, the second point is rigging. Another reason for political party is the rigging of elections. That is when the figure has been inflated in favor of one of the contestants. So this one can also discourage some people in 
contesting or going out to cast their vote. The argument is simple. Why bother to vote or to participate in political activities if the election would be rigged by politicians? The rigging of election diminishes citizens' involvement in politics because they will not have trust in the electoral process of the country. As a result of that, most of them will prefer to stay in the when the election is going on. So that's another good reason for political apathy. The third point is violence. A local adage says that it is only a madman who will haggle or struggle with a man carrying a loaded gun. Politics involve a struggle for power. In the third world countries, it may even take the form of war. No wonder why a writer defines politics as a war by other means, and war is the end of politics, or the continuation of politics by other means. The violence that always takes place during an election can also discourage those who are even willing to go out to cast their votes or to contest for election to be discouraged. It can be discouraged because once you are out there to perform your constitutional duty, and you now see people carrying guns here and there. So if you try to manage to get back to your house, the following, the next election, you may even decide to or decide to stay in the, or not to even bother to go out for, for the election or to cast your vote. So when there is, or when we witness violence on every election period, this one can also discourage people in participating in the political affairs of their country. The fourth point, poor governance. Poor governance. Poor governance at all levels of government is also another factor that promotes political party in the system. Because most of those who are contesting, or even after they have been given the mandate, they will perform poorly. So when the people now decide that we keep on voting for these people and they are not performing, look at our rules. Everywhere is so bad. The power supply, we are not enjoying it. So when we have this kind of poor governance, it can really discourage people not to go out to vote during the election. Number, number five. We are seen on the reasons for political party. Unfulfilled electoral promises. And well, then we promise you that they will do this, they will do this when the election is on the way. But at the end of the day, they will not fulfill all their electoral promises. And this, this may also account for political party. If people lose interest in politics if they realize that public office holders may not fulfill the promises they have made to the people during electioneering. One of the promises made by Shifu during the last, during the campaign of the 1999 federal election, for example, was that the problem of power outrage in Nigeria will be tackled within a short period of his assumption of office. And uh, has this been tackled now? No. The reverse is the case. No, I want it in. Uh, how will I see you? Hmm? 
Then reasons for political party. We are seen on the reasons for political party. We have mentioned violence, the inactivity, lack of confidence in political leaders, no confidence in the uh, in INEC, and so on and so forth. All these, if you study this chart, you can study the chart later. All these are the reasons for low voter turnout, especially in Nigeria. These are some of the reasons for political apart, as you can see, the violence that we have uh, rightly mentioned and the smash of a ballot box. So when this, when all these are happening in, in an election, so people will be discouraged to go out and uh, cast their vote. Effect of a political party. Can you hear me now? The candidate elected will not be bound to do well since he knows he can always engage in running for re election. Then the second point the best candidate may not win the election. The best candidate may not win the election. As money bars may influence the few remaining voters in their favor for a fee, the frequent disturbance of public peace and harmony. Then one of number four. Decline in the living standard of people. The politicians that do not get elected resort to doing their personal binding rather than what will benefit the public. That's another point. If you have any points, you can chat me. Now we respond to your question. It leads to mismanagement of human and material resources 
as people with low level of management have been left to man the office. So all these are effects of political apathy. You can see one of the effects of political apathy that is in violence is already taking place. Probably when the election is being rigged in favor of someone, and people now come out to fight or to protest or to fight for their rights. Voter turnout in Nigeria has dropped for the last four elections. If you study this table very well, in 2003, as you can see, you can see how the turnout was so impressive. In 2007, it did we witness some reduction, a bit reduction. In 2011, you can see the turnout is dropping gradually in 2015. And the worst of it all is the last election that we had in this year, you can see. So if we are to take a look at the, let's take a look at the, the percentage. You can see in 2003, I think it was around 75%, 2007, as you can see. So you just study the chart very well. You can see that the turnout is really dropping. So people are really not showing interest in the political activities of the country anymore as a result of all that we have said so far. There are various ways of fighting political apathy. There are various ways of fighting political apathy. Let's take a look at the first point. Knowing and defending our rights. Citizens should always know and fight for their rights. That is, when we observe that rigging is already taking place, we can protest against it. In order not for us to be discouraged in the next election. Then the second point is participation in election. Voting and defending your vote by saying no to electoral malpractices. It should be one man, one vote. That is, everybody, everybody has to go out and at least vote during the election. And after voting, you wait behind to defend your vote. Then the third point, joining popular organizations. Efforts should be made by all citizens to join and play active part in the political affairs of their country. That is another good point that uh, one can do to fight political apathy. Registering and getting a voter's card. Qualified people should register to vote and should not sell their voting card to the money back. That is, once you sell your voter's card, you are already selling your rights. That means your rights have been sold already. So let's stop vote buying and make sure you go out to pass your vote for the right person during an election. Other ways of fighting political party, reading political literature and then watching political dom documentaries of great leaders, such as Martin Luther King Jr., Chief of Bastemi Awolowo, Dr. Nandi Azikiwe, and Ajit Tafar Balewa, and so on and so forth. When we are reading their political literature, we are going to be encouraged in participating in an election of the country. Mm 
Number six, developing the right attitude to public governance is another way of fighting political apathy. Then the last one, thinking of how to contribute positively to the growth and progress of the nation. As an individual, we have to think of what we can do to make Nigeria a better country. What we are saying, as far as this one is now, is that you should always ask yourself, what am I going to do to make Nigeria great? So we should not always be asking for what is government doing. You as an individual, you can also contribute to your own quota to the development and the, the progress of the nation. Through public enlightenment, so as you can see, they have been enlightened on some of the benefits in participating in an election of the day. So this kind, this kind of gathering can also enlighten people or could be TV programs or media houses program. So people need to be enlightened and for them to be participating in an election of the country. Now, before the class activities, if you have any question, can shut me down. I will respond to your question one after the other, before the class activity. Any question, shut me, please. Waiting for your question. Uh -huh. So the class activity, quickly do it and send your response to me now. That is the feeling of being less concerned about political activities. Question two, the following are forms of political party assets. A, failure to register or vote during election. B, refusal to protest against rigging of election. C, refusal to join political parties, then D, popular participation in politics. Quickly send it before I move to the next slide. You are going to be awarded accordingly. Correct, she too, good. Yes, say the journey. Thank you, I'll see your answer. Nicole, I'll see your answer. David, I didn't know, I'll see your answer. Pofu, I'll see your answer. Ali, you, I'll see your answer. Abiba Daudu, yes. Smai Mustafa, I'll see your answer. Thank you. I think I can move to the next slide now. Thank you. Ali Mahoma, I'll see your answer. Najiba, I've seen your answer. Rakib, I've seen your answer, correct? Now let's move to the next one. Let's move to the next one. Next slide. Alexander, I've seen your answer. Thank you. Uh, Nifa. I did the last thing answer. Now, the next question. Number three. Clinton, I see your answer. Latifa, 
Agora, I've seen your answer. Thank you. So the next question, number three, mention three reasons for political party. Quickly send this. Three reasons for political party. Yes, waiting for your response. Three reasons for political party. Castal, I know what I've seen your answer. Abdulamin, I've seen you. Thank you. Violence, yes. Rigging, correct. We call you. Iman, corruption. Thank you. Rigging of election by Abroki. Appreciate you. Thank you. Corruption, Amdalat, I've seen it. Kofo, I've seen answer. Corruption, she too, illiteracy. Lack of trust, violence by Latif. Nifemi, Kazara, I've seen answer. Latif, Agoro. Sophia, Aliyu. I think I'm like, okay, okay. Poor governments, bad government. Thank you. Kofo, thank you. The three points I mentioned. Now, the last question there. Same on the class activities. State two effects of political apathy. Two effects of political apathy. Let's quickly answer this. Lack of trust, bad road, absence of relevant optical information, decline, we standard. Thank you for the So, I've seen your answers. Thank you very much. And um, you have assignments. This assignment will be submitted in the next class. The question one there. You can quickly write down the assignment before the end of the class. Explain five reasons why they just fail to protect the interests of their followers. Explain five reasons why leaders fail to protect the interests of their followers. Five reasons to be submitted in the next class. Then the second question, find out the following in the last general presidential elections. A, total register voters, the last presidential election. B, total number of votes cast. Then the C, the difference between the votes cast for APC and PDP. Now quickly write this one down to be submitted in the next class. Then the, the version of this class will be approved of this, not the characteristics we need to require. So you can visit the yeah, you can visit the YouTube later in the day. So you can download it and then if you have missed any slide. So you have the opportunity to download it and to recopy your notes. Then again, the group were given before the midterm break. So make sure you use this holiday period to do it perfectly as we have explained to you in the classroom. So when you are resuming fully to school, you come along with that project. And as I've said earlier on, marks will be awarded for the best uh, project. So do you have any other question before the end of the class? Another question. So you can copy the note later. Okay, let's see what. The YouTube channel will be sent to you later. Okay. The link to that YouTube channel will be sent to you later. 
Have you copied the assignment? Thanks for. Thank you very much. Any other question before we call it a day? Please, we can end the chat here now. Adisa. Sir? Yes, I'm listening. Who was I know that's all they are saying. The which assignment? I said that I uh, the group or I don't you know, know my group. I don't know my group. You don't know your group? Hello? <laughs> no, sir, I can't remember. Yes, see me. Hello, see me. I want to log out. It's like time. Where will I? Where, where, where? Okay, I'm listening.